What's going on, Spider Rider? Spider Dan here, SwissSlingMods.com, and today we have our multi-function LED trunk light for the Can-Am Spider RT. We here at SlingMods.com love when a mod serves both form and function. This multi-function LED trunk light for the Spider RT offers a running light, a brake light, hazards, and turn signal functionality all in a single compact unit encased in a chrome ABS trim that looks like a factory piece once installed. The light is super stylish and low enough to stay out of the way of luggage racks you may decide to add down the road. And as far as safety, the light uses small, ultra-efficient, high-intensity LEDs offering superb brightness with low power consumption. The LED assembly is enclosed in a weather-resistant pod that is sealed to provide protection against all weather conditions all year round. Now let's hand this over to Brandon to walk you through the installation process. Start by opening your trunk, and with a T20 Torx, remove these six screws so you can lift off the outer trunk lid. Now attach some masking tape to the top left inside corner of the trunk lid, and then using a marking pin, Mark a drill hole on the lid where the wires are coming out of the light. And don't be afraid to double triple check the positioning for accuracy. Once you have it where you want it, take a 5 16 drill bit and carefully drill a hole where your mark is. Then peel off the masking tape and remove any sharp edges or burrs. Next you can feed the wires from your light through the hole you just made and double check the fitment of your light. Now take some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free cloth and clean the area of the trunk lid where the light's going to be attached to. Let that dry and then remove the masking tape from the double-sided tape center the alignment and then once you have it where you want it push down firmly to secure it in place next you can take a t30 torx and remove these four screws below the trunk lid then open both your saddlebags and remove these two upper screws from both sides And now you can carefully lift that painted rear panel up and off the bike. Next, you can remove these three screws inside the trunk on the left to remove your speaker pod. It's a little tricky to get off, but once you do, take a marking pin and mark the top speaker wire so that you know which one is which later. And then unplug both wires. Now remove these three screws below the trunk and saddlebag release handle. Followed by these two lower screws on both sides of the saddlebags. And let that pivot down and rest on the rear tire. Next you can run your new tail light wires down through the opening on the left hand side of the trunk hinge. and then continue to route the wires down to the left-hand side taillight. Now reattach your trunk lid using the same six screws you originally took out. Then remove these three screws that hold the taillight on. and disconnect this plug so you can attach T-tap connectors to the black wire. Yeah. 
white wire. Orange wire. And the black and yellow wire. Then take your trunk light wires and crimp the male spade connectors to the brown wire, green wire, yellow wire, and the orange wire. And then take the blue wire and run that over to the right hand side tail light. Remove the three tail light screws. And disconnect the plug so you can attach a T-tap connector to the gray wire. Then attach a male spade connector to the blue wire. so that you can connect the blue wire to the T-tap on the gray wire. Next, you can plug the connector back in and reinstall your tail light. Now take the green wire from the trunk light and plug that into the black wire T-tap of the spider then the yellow wire from the tail light to the white wire T-tap on the spider. Next, the brown tail light wire to the orange wire T-tap. Followed by the orange wire to the black and yellow wire T-tap. Now plug your tail light harness back in. Reinstall the tail light. And then test the new brake light, running light, right blinker, left blinker, and the hazards. And as long as all those are working, you can now reinstall the three screws under the trunk latch handle. Plug your speaker wires back into your speaker pod. And remember we marked the top one earlier. Then carefully realign the speaker pod back into position. Now this is a little tricky, so take your time and be careful. And once you feel it slide back into position, you can reinsert the three screws inside the trunk on the left hand side. Followed by these two screws on top of the side bags for both the left and right side. The two screws on the bottom of both the right and left side bags. And then finally you can screw back in the four T30 Torx below the trunk lid. So if safety is high on your priority list, head on over to slingmods.com today and pick up a trunk mounted multi-function LED light today. Also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to keep up to date with everything Spider. I'm Spider Dan, signing out until next time.